Alright, so this is my pinwheel mechanical calculator that I recently purchased online. Um, it's uh, last produced in 1958, you know, this particular model uh, in Italy. And um, it's in fairly good condition considering it's at least 56 years old. Um, so basically with mechanical calculators you have a few simple things for you know each model and it's going to have an input counter which is this one here and you input numbers by turning these dials and you can clear that with this little lever here and um, down here you have your output and over here you have your turn counter now to reset that pull this lever resets both of them and um, whenever you start using it you're going to want to move the you know the center the, the bottom display uh, all the way to the left so that the first digit lines up with the first digit of the input so to do that you would use this little rocker back here and you could do that or it has a little release button here and that lets you slide it yourself but in most cases you're going to want to use this unless you're just you know opening it up um, now how it works is pretty simple you pull this lever out and rotate it clockwise to do addition and multiplication and counterclockwise to do subtraction and division um, so as you notice, every time I turn it, the turn counter goes up by one. So I'll keep doing that, and it just keeps going up. But the input is zero, the output is going to be zero, because zero plus zero is zero. So I'm going to reset that, and um, uh, let's do a basic addition. So two... 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So basically what I did was 2 plus 2 equals 4, but at the same time it's multiplication because I'm using the same number over and over. If I were to do, you know, 4 plus 25, we would get the answer, 29. And when you're doing that, you would just disregard the turn counter because it you know, it doesn't matter how many times you turned in a uh, addition problem. So I'm going to reset the calculator. And um, let's take a number like 25, add that to the bottom, and then clear that and subtract 3. So we'll go counterclockwise. And that subtracted 3 from 25, and we end up with uh, 22. Um, you can do much bigger numbers, and it goes just as fast. Here, I'll enter a random number. There we go. And it's a little louder when you do that, but it, uh, it does add up just as fast as any other operation. So it's very fast and accurate, which is, um, you know, something that's uh, really impressive for a totally mechanical design. So, just do a few more additions. You could also do subtraction. It is a little harder to pull the lever, um, when you do have a lot of numbers, but it's not too difficult. All right, so I'm going to reset everything there. On oh, another thing, this switch is basically a um, not sure what to call it. Um, it prevents the output from being erased when you you know you do a clear. Um, and you really only use that in division. And uh, to show you an example of division, uh, I'll do I'm gonna do a 
big number just to show what it can do. So I want to divide this number, 3,164. Uh, so I'm going to move it down there. And I want to divide that by 13. So I'm not going to do anything yet. Um, I need to clear the turn counter because in division, the turn counter is your output or your answer. Um, so I'm going to lock the output and reset the turn counter. So now the turn counter is all zeros, and I'm dividing 3,164 by 13. So what you have to do is you move over until the first digit of the input lines up with the uh, the last digit of the uh, the uh, first number and you're just gonna subtract now see what I did there I'll roll back so you can see it again I tried to subtract 13 from 3 so what that does is it goes to negative number and this can't do negatives so it just shows all nines, uh, and it makes a you know little bell sound. Um, so when that happens, you just shift over like that, and then try again. Keep going until that dings, and then roll back and have it ding again. Then move over and keep going. And again, so now we get our answer over here. Now, when you roll back um, counterclockwise, the numbers on the turn counter are red. So I'm going to move it so you can see a little better. Maybe not. Yeah, there they are. 243 is our answer. Now, um, that's not right because there is a remainder, and that is displayed on this counter here. So it's 243 uh, with a remainder of 5. And those are the basic operations of the calculator, and that's uh, pretty much all there is to it, and it could do the same operations you would do on a, you know, a basic calculator. Um, so that's it, and uh, thanks for watching.